This is an acellular inorganic tissue composed of 99% calcium phosphate crystals known as hydroxyapatite. These crystals are generally long and thin and are organized in a repetitive way known as prisms. The enamel is a translucent tissue in the oral environment as it is embedded in water. This structure is susceptible to mineral processes instability or solubility mainly in the presence of acid substances. Unlike enamel, the dentin is composed of a 70% inorganic matrix, 20% organic and 10% water. It also has a hydroxyapatite mineral phase with a smaller crystal dimension. The dentin also presents the well-known dentinal tubules which contain the odontoblast processes cytoplasmic prolongations extending throughout the dentin structure. On smooth surfaces, dental plaque accumulates in the cervical third, close to the gingival margin. Already on proximal surfaces, plaque builds up below the contact point. Related to occlusal surfaces, dental plaque accumulates in the pit and fissure areas. In this animation, we can see the plaque formation after the use of plaque disclosing tablets. As we may observe, on posterior teeth, the plaque builds up on pits and fissures on the occlusal surfaces and the cervical third in smooth surfaces. The biofilm acid production promotes the enamel demineralization. This occurs in the presence of an imbalance between the dental surface and the biofilm. Continuing mineral loss leads to a mineral dissolution if this process wasn't interrupted, the progressive destruction of the enamel would be imminent. The first visual sign of a caries lesion is a white spot. This lesion could progress to more severe stages, from the white spot lesion to a cavity affecting the pulp. Now we can see the scores of caries lesion classification and their severity according to the ICDAS criteria. No visual changes in the enamel even after drying for 5 seconds. This score is seen only after air drying for 5 seconds or restricted to the pit and fissure. These lesions are more advanced than code 1. Air drying is not necessary to detect them in both wet and dry enamel. This code represents a localized enamel breakdown with no visible dentin. A ball-ended probe can be used gently to confirm cavitation. A shadow of discoloured dentin is visible through intact enamel. This characteristic is more noticeable when the surface is wet. A cavitation due to caries in opaque or discoloured enamel exposing the dentin. These lesions extend over less than half of the tooth's surface. It could be observed an extensive distinct cavity with visible dentin involving at least half of the tooth surface or the pulp.